Can Nibiru actually exist? Let's find out. To have the orbital period required, the orbit would have to look like this. It would have to be an orbit with just less than escape velocity, which means that if we know that it has a limiting speed, we can figure out how close it has to be. Because if it was further away, it would have to be traveling at a speed above its own escape velocity. Let's zoom in a bit. Which means that it would have to be right about here. And this is how it would look for April 14th, 2011. May, June, July, August. We should lose track of it from ground-based observation right about here. November, December, January 2012. And it should become visible again in February of 2012. March, April, at 1 minute and 50 seconds of arc angle, it would appear to be 3 to 4 times the size of Jupiter. In June, it would look about 7 times more Jupiter. By July and August, it would be clearly visible in the daylight sky. By October, it would appear to be about an eighth the size of the moon. By November, a third the size of the moon. All of the inner planets would be flung out of the plane of the ecliptic. That means that this can't be a periodic event, or the inner planets wouldn't be in the plane of the ecliptic now. That means that if any of this was actually real, you could walk outside tonight and verify it. It couldn't be hidden from you.